Oh, hey there. I'm Jay with Chaffe, and so many people think that Chaffe is just putting alfalfa in a bag, but we wanted to take a moment just to show you that there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes at Chaffe. So one of the nice things about having a wide assortment of forage products for your farm or ranch is the fact that we are, we're able to handpick what you're looking for. Right now we're sitting in front of some 21 bell bundles. Uh, this is premium, small stem, lots of leaf. This is a uh, third cut alfalfa. And, and when people are trying to figure out what's best for their farm or ranch or the animals that are on your farm or ranch, uh, we have the ability to make sure that we're finding the right protein or relative feed value that's gonna work best for your animals. Let's go over and look at some big bells. So for larger farms or ranches, a lot of people have been trending towards the three by four bell. This is a roughly 1400 pound bell of alfalfa. This is a premium stack, uh, very small stem, lots of leaf. One of the things that we like about this is for mid-level or, or larger farms uh, with, a, with a good sized tractor, you're able to unload these bells. A lot of people will go through and cut these bells up and then that way they, they're easy to flake out and to feed to their animals. The nice thing about farming in this location and geographically we have no blister beetles. Uh, we don't have to worry about a whole lot of rain today. It's kind of overcast, but it's been nice. Uh, with, with the limited rainfall, with, with minimal insect pressure, it's been really nice for us to be able to grow a premium product just like these three by fours. We're gonna walk across the other barn. Let's go look at some four by fours. Oh my gosh, Becky, did you see the size of her bale? We're in the big bell barn. These are the four by four by eight bells, and these things are gonna weigh close to 2,000 pounds. Uh, again, this is a premium stack of hay, small stem, lots of leaf. We do have uh, other assortments of this hay as well, all the way down to what we would call a cow hay where it's been rained on a couple of times. This hay has not been rained on. One of the cool techniques that we use here at the farm is we actually use purified water and we run that through a boiling system or a steamer and we create our own humidity. Since it's so dry in this climate, we create our own humidity and what it does is it locks the leaf into the bale. That, that moisture that we put into the alfalfa actually dissipates during the day when we come load them the next day out of the field. Uh, these are completely barn safe. You're not gonna have to worry about something com spontaneously combusting in your barn. Everything is checked and probed before it goes in as well as on the machinery. We actually have a microwave type system that goes through and checks the whole entire bale to make sure that we don't have a wet spot that would get us all in trouble. We're gonna go from here, we're gonna go look at some off hay, some stuff that's put up at the same time of year that might've gotten some rain on it. Uh, the, the price point not only is gonna be lower, but at the same time, uh, this might fit something else in your operation. So you look at this already and you're thinking, oh my gosh, what's, what's wrong with this hay? Well, we actually caught a little bit of moisture one night before we were baling, and so it's ending up bleaching the hay. This hay is what we would call a light stripe. It's outside, it's not in a barn right now, so you're gonna see some sun bleaching on the hay. But the big thing is, is if we, if we look over here and we pull the hay back a little bit, you're gonna see that there's a lot of green still inside the bell. So for somebody that's trying to feed uh, maybe some brood mares or a horse that they're really not trying to focus in on uh, exact nutrition, if they're trying to feed this to cattle, uh, goats, anything like that, this is probably the best option. The price is lower. At the same time, the feed quality is still gonna be pretty good. You probably should still see a protein somewhere around 16 to 18% a relative feed value of around 185. So having options like this for your farmer ranch, that's kind of what we do. Let's go look at some bigger hay. Well, sometimes mother nature just wins and you don't always get to put up perfectly green, beautiful hay. That's good for you though. And the fact that if you're trying to feed some livestock and you're looking for a affordable alternative to feeding good quality alfalfa, uh, we've got that as well. This is what we would call a heavy striped cow hay. This has been rained on. We raked it over, let it dry out, make sure that the hay is good, dry and cure. Then we put it into these four by four bells. Again, with all of these sizes and all of these quantities that you're looking at, you can get any type of quality and size that you want. So if you want this quality of hay in a small bale, we've got it. If you want this quality of hay in a three by four bale, we've got it and vice versa. So whenever it comes to making sure that you're getting the hay that you need, make sure that you call and reach out to your feed store or to your rep, discuss what you're really feeding and what you're trying to figure out is best for your farm or ranch. With a protein value of about 16% and a relative feed value of about 165, uh, this is probably gonna be a filling option. I wouldn't recommend feeding something like this to your horse, but a ruminant animal, this would be more than fine for. So many people think that Chaffee is just alfalfa as well, and, and we do an assortment of different things from oats to beardless wheat to teff grass, Bermuda grass, um, Sudan sorghum. 
what we're able to offer is, is all of these different classes and all these different sizes of feed. So if your operation is needing a mix and match of different things, we're gonna have that. Right now we're standing in front of some beardless wheat. This is beautiful green beardless wheat. There is no beard inside of this that you're gonna have to worry about for your animal. A lot of people are using this as a filler for brood mares, also for weaning calves and things like that. If you wanna quote on some beardless wheat hay, give us a shot at Chaffee. So Chaffee is kind of like one of those big club stores where if there's something that you're looking for at a discounted price, we're gonna be able to fill your shopping cart. Not only that, we're gonna send the shopping cart straight to your farm or ranch. All you gotta do is make sure you reach out to one of your reps or one of your feed stores, ask them about truckload pricing when it comes to all of your forage needs. Thanks for supporting Chaffee. Thanks for supporting this small town and this small business. Have a good day.